Okay, guys. All right, guys. Movie, movie number eight is Schindler's List. I love this one. This is probably, I think, the greatest film in the history of cinema. The acting's perfect. The directing's perfect. The pacing is near perfect. You know, um, and then the thing that it was shot in black and white, most of the time I'm like, that could have been shot in color. No, this film needs to be seen, and it needs it. And then, you know, it's a three and a half hour runtime, but it's so good. And let me tell you, uh, it's about this uh, Nazi, not, Nazi party member, Oscar Schindler, who, who basically had to. He wasn't a racist. It's just that, um, you know, you basically had to join or else, or else they would have killed you. You know, you know, like, and like, um, he basically, uh, start at the start of the movie. He only, uh, he only now like hires the Jews to work in his factory to make enamel wear is because of, um, he thinks that he can make, 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 make the most amount of money without spending. And then of course, like throughout the course of the movie, one event, which I will not spoil, causes him to change. And then, um, and then of course, when he changes, uh, he starts he starts shape. He starts um sharing. He start he starts saving them, just for just because it's the right thing to do, you know. And every single time I watch this, I cry and I cry for three and a half hours. But it, the movie doesn't feel like it. And then um oh yeah about the Oscars. I thought it could have won a couple more. Mm, I forget what though. But there's one that stuck out in my mind. Is best supporting actor. No offense to Tommy Jones. You were great in um in uh. The Fugitive, but except like um, uh, Ray Fiennes playing Amon Girth was the epitome of evil. This guy is a coward, but except also you do not like him at all. The thing he does for fun, minor spoiler, but it's a 22 year old movie, is that he actually would stand on it on his balcony at the ghetto because like he would actually like fire. He'd take a sniper rifle and fire and take out Jews just because he could and he enjoyed it. You know, this movie is perfect. And then there's a couple of scenes where you will cry and then Liam Neeson, oh my god. In that Oscar race, I put him at number two right behind Tom Hanks in Philadelphia. But, you know, this film is just awesome. And nods to Steven Spielberg, you get my full respect. This, I think... And then when I talked about um, Requiem for a Dream being the, sa the second fast movie I've ever seen, this is number one. But except I think I think that this is the greatest film in the history of cinema. It's not my favorite. I I consider you know like favorites good and entertaining. You know like this movie is entertaining, but except it's not a yippee kind of entertaining like my other movies. You'll see what I mean. So yes, guys. Movie, my number eight favorite film, Schindler's List, the greatest motion picture in the history of cinema.